gather around the table once again for another session of Dungeons and Drakfus. And today, we're stepping back in the Wayback Machine. Welcome back, everybody, and happy Tuesday. So, the Wrath of the Lich King also did provide an expansion to the Caverns of Time. And a lot of people were hoping for this because uh, Arthas has such a huge timeline that it didn't, it didn't make sense to not do this. So we're actually going to step into the Caverns of Time instance specifically for Wrath of the Lich King that was heroic only, I believe. I don't think there was a normal version, uh, which is the Culling of Stratholme. So we're actually going to see the terrible event uh, where Arthas literally killed off the entire city of Stratholme in order to cleanse it of the impending Scourge threat. And in fact, we're going to help him do this because... A, we look like a human now. Oh my gosh, with a friggin' red beard. Okay. Ginger Drakfu? No, I'm kidding. So, first of all, let's go ahead and claim our quest here, which is actually going to go through through the majority of the instance. And here's Chromie! Chromie! We meet again. <coughs> Welcome, adventurer. You've come just in the nick of time. So, dispelling, uh, dispelling illusions. The infinite dragonflights seek to disrupt history by deceiving Prince Arthas. If they can convince him that none of the grain here carries the plague, that he'll never uh, he'll never have to make the fateful decision to cull Stratholme. Use his, this arcane disruptor on any suspicious crates of grain that you find. So basically, the infinite dragonflight once again is here messing around with the timeline, trying to stop Arthas from culling Stratholme. And unfortunately, history needs to be maintained. So as much as we hate to say it, we need to help him cull Stratholme. Ah, uh, not good at all. And I remember when this when this officially got announced, a lot of me and my friends were just sitting there going, how are they going to make us do it? We know what happens. We don't want to see this happen. But yeah, it, like, time has to be maintained. He has to do it. And actually, the event that we got out of it does kind of make sense. Uh, we do have to help him out, but at the same time, we understand why we need to help him out, why it actually needs to happen. Because, sadly... Arthas, Arthas Menethil must become the Lich King. So here's the final uh, plague crate. And now we just need to meet up with... Uh, with Chromie up ahead. This is actually a really cool like lead up into this area. So this is basically uh, the Eastern Plague Lands. Where you're walking right now is the Eastern Plague Lands. Good work with the crates. Come talk to me in front of Stratholme for your next assignment. And unfortunately, I can't show you the full-on map, but this is Stratholme before the Scourge called it, uh, before Arthas called it, and then later the, the Scourge took hold. So it's kind of weird to see this now um, when you've seen the Eastern Plague Lands. So here's Chromie. Hi! Quick, over here! Good work! Arthas now knows about the Plague Grain in Stratholme, and it's about to begin the culling. Something is still not quite right, though. I sense a foreign presence in this timeline besides us, and that must mean the infinite dragonflight are here somewhere. Uh, somewhere. <coughs> You've done well, friend. The plague grain was exposed to Arthas' troops. Listen carefully now. There remains more to be done. All right, a royal escort. Arthas will soon face a desperate dilemma and make a, mon uh, make a momentous decision. I must call upon you to accompany the prince in his culling. Arthas must make it through Stratholme alive, and you must see to it that he defeats Malganus. Yep, so you have to help him. He has to do the task that is set before him. So, let's go ahead and talk mm. to Chromie Haven't again. Done this before? Now, we are doing this heroic version, and we do get a bonus boss out of it, which does give you a guaranteed mount. So, if you haven't gotten this one yet, if you haven't gotten the Bronze Drake, this is how you do it, and I'll even show you how to do it. So, uh, oh, actually, she's talking, so we give me a second. Again. <coughs> yeah, and it's about to begin the culling. Something is still not quite right, though. What do you think they're up to? I don't know, and that worries me. I'll do everything I can to find the infinites. What I need you to do now is stay close to Arthas by joining his army. You want me to do what? Well, you're not going to sign recruitment papers or anything, but you're going to fight alongside him. You need to make sure Arthas calls Stratholme and defeats Malganus. Without Uther and Jaina around, he'll need all the help he can get. If you talk to Arthas, he'll put you to work destroying the forces of Malganus. Follow along until I can figure out what's going on with the Infinites. Very well, Chromie. Good luck and be safe. Here comes Uther and Jaina now. 
So this is actually a pivotal moment from Warcraft 3, and we're going to let this play out, even though everybody's probably annoyed by this by now, but I don't care. The Lightbringer! Lord Uther! Glad you could make it, Uther. Watch your tone with me, boy. You may be the prince, but I'm still your superior as a paladin. As if I could forget. Listen, Uther. There's something about the plague you should know. Oh no. We're too late. These people have all been infected. They may look fine now, but it's just a matter of time before they turn into the undead. What? This entire city must be purged. How can you even consider that? There's got to be some other way. Damn it, Uther. As your future king, I order you to purge this city! You are not my king yet, boy. Nor would I obey that command even if you were. Then I must consider this an act of treason. Treason? You lost your mind, Arthas? Have I? Lord Uther, by my right of succession and the sovereignty of my crown, I hereby relieve you of your command and suspend your paladins from service. Arthas, you can't just... It's done. Those of you who have the will to save this land, follow me. The rest of you, get out of my sight. You've just crossed a terrible threshold, Arthas. Jaina? I'm sorry, Arthas. I can't watch you do this. So this is an actual cutscene that does happen in Warcraft 3. And is no good news. Like, Arthas the Paladin has decided to call an entire city to cleanse it from the Scourge. To free Lordaeron from this curse. Unfortunately, it's just not the best way to be able to do it. Okay, so unfortunately he's gonna watch over here. And I will lead a small force inside Stratholme to begin the culling. We must contain and purge the infected for the sake of all of Lordaeron. Okay, so let's go ahead and follow him in. And we're just going to be following Arthas as he goes along uh, to cull Stratholme. This is, a, a, again, a pivotal moment. And probably in the description below, I'll put in uh, one of Novel's videos towards the story of either... The, I think it's going to be the, the story of the Lich King, a.k.a. Arthas Menethil. So you guys can get that uh, that portion and, and see what has led up to this point uh, to cull Stratholme. So let's go ahead and talk to Arthas again. All officers should check in with me when their squads are ready. We'll enter Stratholme on this my order. This city will be cleansed. Are you ready to do whatever must be done to protect Lordaeron? Ah, uh, yes, my prince, we are ready! Everyone looks ready. Remember, these people are all infected with the plague and will die soon. We must purge Stratholme to protect the remainder of Lordaeron from the Scourge. Let's go. Now, fun fact, um, you can actually skip this. If you've gone through it at least once, then you can actually, when you come in here again, you could skip all of this opening dialogue and get right to uh, the dungeon itself. Prince Arthas, may the light be praised. Many people in the town have begun to fall seriously ill. Can you help us? I can only help you with a clean death. What? This can't be! No! Did you see that? Oh no! That was just the beginning. I haven't felt this bad since I tried to eat some dragon's breath chili! This is the beginning. I've been waiting for you, <coughs> young prince. I am Malgaris. As you can see, your people are now mine. I will now turn this city, household by household until the flame of life has been snuffed out. I won't allow it, Malganis. Better that these people die by my hand than serve as your slaves in death. Okay, so this officially starts Malganis things up. Will send out oh. some of his scourge minions to the ruins. Those of you with the strongest steel and magic shall go forth and destroy them. I will lead the rest of their forces in purging strat Okay, so this is officially the start of the culling of Stratham. Now, people will notice I didn't go into the lore in the Dungeon Journal. It's just repeating what we've already read in uh, 
<laughs> in the dungeon journal already for the Caverns of Time. And that's why I went into this, and I'll, I'll give you an additional uh, video in the description below, just going into Arthas' story leading up to this point. Uh, so this is basically a waved encounter, and all you have to do is take care of the Scourge waves until a boss appears. And they'll actually give you notifications as to where they're going to show up, so Elder Square Gate is our next one. I believe this is the one over way... Yes, okay, so let's go ahead and take care of the this next one, which is just increasing Scourge minions. <laughs> As you get to see, like, Nerubians eventually come into play. <coughs> Necromancers. Oh, and we already have this one coming next. Okay, so we've taken care of five waves, and that brings out the boss, Meat Hook. So let's go over his lore really quick before we kill him. Since Prince Arthas first encountered the Scourge Abominations, they have become even more menacing. Meat Hook has grown stronger, more toxic, and more agile than the others. Smarter was never the goal of the necromancers who created Meat Hook, but it only takes a base cunning to do what he does best. And so there is Meat Hook, and as you could already, as you could already see, the new Legion models are very much in this area. Uh, we actually got the new model for Melganis and the new Abomination models for Meat Hook. Okay, so now we get a little bit of a reprieve, and then wave six will happen, and we have to do this again for another five waves to get the second boss, Salrom, the Flesh Crafter. So, come on, let's get the second wave going. Oh, and it just started raining outside. I just barely heard the thunder go off, so... Okay, this one was near Town Hall. I think this is actually over here. Yes, so there it is. Let's go ahead and get the oh, next set of waves started. There we go. <coughs> so where's the next one? Scourge forces have been spotted near the King's Square Fountain. Uh, that would be all the way over here. Thankfully, if you've done Strathome before, you know pretty much where all these areas are. So you'll be okay. And now we're starting to see abominations. So that's where... That's where we're at. The, this is the... Zombies are constantly getting more powerful. Okay, next one. Uh, town Hall. So we need to go all the way back. Thankfully, I got my flying serpent kick back. And as you go along, the zombies will con uh, continuously spawn. In fact, that's actually an achievement you can get for the culling of Strathome, which is Zombie Fest. You have to kill 100 within a minute of each other. We're not too worried about that. Okay, take care of that wave. There we go. And the Elder Square Gate, so that's actually right here. Let's go ahead and take care of these guys. And you are too late, champion of Lord Aron. The dead shall have their day. We just gotta kill off all these zombies so that we can then go into the lore of Salrom, the Flesh Crafter. So let's go ahead and do that. Salrom, the Flesh Crafter, was one of the first necromancers trained in the halls beneath Sholomance. He saw the test subjects and occasional fellow students as little more than a collection of interesting parts for his work. Now he has the entire population of Strathome for his experiments, along with any interlopers who try to stop him. And it's just this big necromancer right here. Let's go ahead and kill him. Plan. There we go. So that actually start that ends the first portion of the culling. Champions, meet me at the town hall. At meet me at the town hall at once. We must take the fight to Malganis. So all you have to do is go all the way over here, and there is Arthas. <coughs> now before we go any further, we're probably gonna want to take care of the excess zombies that we have uh, trailing us. Yep, we got some zombies trailing us. There we go. So let's go ahead and talk to Arthas. I will not allow this plague to spread. You must be one of the brave soldiers who have been fighting the scourge forces of Malganis. Well done. 
So we're only doing what is best for Lordaeron, your, your highness. Indeed, oh. Malganus is commanding the scourge from Crusader Square, but the gates mm. leading there from the city entrance are closed. Little does he know that a small force can still reach the square by moving through the town hall. Will you join me in this attack? Lead the way, Prince Follow Arthas! I know the way through. Now, this time, it gets a little difficult because now we actually have to keep Arthas alive. Ah, oh, you finally arrived, Prince Arthas. You're here just in the nick of time. Yes, I'm glad I could get to you before the plague. What is this sorcery? There's no need for you to understand, Arthas. All you need do is die. So, oh no! Infinite Dragon Flight! They're trying to stop him actively. So this is a little bit of a gauntlet where you have to keep Arthas alive from all of these infinite adversaries that are going to be coming through. Melganus appears to have more than Scourge in his arsenal. We should make haste. Yes, we probably should. Let's go. Okay, so we come up here. Now you'll notice there's a time More remaining. That's how long you have to get the bronze drink. So we are actually making amazing time right now. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about it. Okay, so that's the next one. Just <coughs> wait let's for Arthas. Yes, let's. Let's move faster. You can move faster than this, Arthas. Okay, so here's the next one. They have us surrounded in this hole. Now, if you're soloing this, I do actually recommend that you take these guys out first. They are casters, and thus do a lot of damage. And we do have to watch Arthas' health. Okay. Melganis is not making this easy. You thought he would? Okay, so next room. Kind of the banquet area. Oh, They're look at that. Persistent. And uh, down they all go. <coughs> and this will lead to the next boss, which unfortunately we're going to need to take care of the lore after. Away? Prince Arthur's minute. On this day, a powerful darkness has taken hold of your soul. The death you are destined to visit upon others will this day. I do what I must for Lordaeron, and neither your words nor your actions will stop me. We'll see about that. Oh, we need to take care of Chrono Lord Epic. Okay, now he's going to stop for a little bit, and we can actually go over the lore of Chrono Lord Epic. The infinite dragonflight often tries subtle methods to manipulate the timeways, but if that fails, they can send an assassin to deal with Arthas Dulet directly. While little is known about the agents of the infinite dragonflight, Epic displays a dangerous mastery of time that makes him a deadly obstacle to Arthas' future. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk May to Arthas the light again. Have mercy. Gather your senses Run, quickly. We must press on. I am ready! The quickest path to Malganus lies behind that bookshelf ahead. Of course it does. Because bookshelves are always doors. This will only take a moment. There we go. I'm relieved this secret passage still works. So am I? You were worried it wouldn't? That's already a worry. Okay, I'm going to jump down because... He's not really going to say anything else until we get here. So now you're starting to see uh, Strathelm on fire. Now you're seeing the actual consequences of the calling. So let's a talk to Arthas. This isn't getting any easier. Strathelm is burning. We must brave the scourge and the flames to reach Malganus. Prepare yourselves for Lordaeron! Let's here as quickly as possible. We can't the old dead don't spare. kill us. The fire's might. Now, he's like your typical escort back in the day, where he's just going to take his sweet time getting around. So, the best thing to do is just try and clear as much of the area as you possibly can. But, here's the thing, it will respawn, so... It's not exactly the worst thing if, if he, uh... falls a little bit behind. As long as he's not in combat, you're fine. Zombies, and 
eventually when we get to the gate, he actually will execute like a halfway point, a resting point. <clears throat> so if you need to get mana back for your healers or anything like that, that's probably, the at least back in the day, that was the best time to do it. Now you can plow through this instance pretty quickly, so it's not necessary. I mean, after all, Wrath of the Lich King actually was the expansion to introduce heirloom gear, so you already had some experience buffs and everything like that going for you. Uh, here we go. So here's the halfway point. Rest a moment and clear your lungs, but we must move again soon. So he'll wait for a second and let you get your mana back if you need if you need it. There we go. Now he just continues to go, which is fine. <laughs> So we can do that, though. We must move again. He used to wait a lot longer. Uh, now they've cut it down. I'm, I'm thinking because it's easier to get through this stuff now. And here is near the end. We'll take care of as many of these guys as we possibly can and let him catch up. There we go. So now that we've gotten through this gauntlet, we have two bosses to take care of. And first of all, we're going to take care of the bonus boss. At last, some good luck. Market Row has not caught fire yet. Malganus is supposed to be in Crusader Square, which is just ahead. Tell me when you're ready to move forward. Now, he'll wait for us, but around this time, you'd be running low on time. So you, what you need to do is just loop all the way around, and if you still have time remaining on there, you need to take care of the Infinite Corrupter, who is trying to take out the Guardian of Time in this area. So all you gotta do is kill him. <coughs> and there you go, the Culling of Time, and you would get the Reigns of the Bronze Drake. I already have it, so I'm not gonna pick it up. You have my thanks for saving my existence in this timeline. Now I must report back to my superiors. They must know immediately of what I just experienced. So you, not only do you get the achievement, but you also get the Bronze Drake for it. So let's go ahead and talk to Arthas and end this once and for all. We need to confront Malganus. And before we do that, let's go into the lore of Malganus. The destiny of Malganus has already been written. Arthas' hatred for the Dreadlord will cause the prince to travel to Northrend and take up Frostmourne. Excuse me. But this will only happen if Malganus finds him worthy. To prove his worthiness and begin down this path to become the Lich King, Arthas must survive Malganus' onslaught. Okay. Lorderon will be Sato, saved. Are you ready to face Malganus with me? I am ready to battle the Dreadlord, sire! Justice will be done. And now he appears. And yes, this is the Legion model for Malganus, by the way. We're going to finish this right now, Malganis. Just you and me. You'll be a fine. And there we go. I knew through him, but he's kind of hard. Gather your forces and meet me in the Arctic land of Northrend. It is there that we shall settle the score between us. It is there. I'll hunt you to the ends of the earth if I have to. Do you hear me? To the ends of the earth! You performed well this day. Anything that Malganus has left behind is yours. Take it as your reward. I must now begin plans for an expedition to Northrend. <coughs> so yeah, this basically sets Arthas on the path to become the Lich King which ultimately ends Malganus as he claims Frostmourne only to kill Malganus. So let's go ahead and take our loot. Oh, I was hoping to get this. The Royal Crest of Lordaeron. This is such an awesome shield uh, for warriors or paladins, especially for paladins. It's really great with the uh, the Crest of Lordaeron. And that actually does it for the for the culling of Strathom. So thanks, thanks so much, guys, for... Uh, I, bleh, I can't talk. Thanks so much, guys, for joining us on this interesting journey through the past as we helped do a horrible, terrible thing. Oh, and also we can Hi. turn this in. You've done well, Drakfu. The Infinites have been foiled and this thread of history remains intact. I thank you for your valuable assistance, as does the entire Bronze Dragon flight. There we go. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching. And when we get back uh, next week for more Dungeons and Drakfus, we will start up the raid content for the beginning of the Wrath of the Lich King expansion. We'll see you guys then.